Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to your November 2022 monthly reading for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. We're going to do a nine card spread for you for the month of November. I'll also pull, I love the sun card in the middle for you. I will also pull energy oracles for the overall energy, what the vibe is for the month for you guys. Okay. And I will pull from the moonology and queen of the moon oracle as we are going to have, we are in eclipse season, we are in Scorpio season, and we are going to have the blood moon, full moon total eclipse in the sign of Taurus, but the blood moon is really speaking about major breakthroughs, realizations, and then we go into Sagittarius season at the 22nd of the month, very next day we have the new moon in Sag and Jupiter goes direct. So another opportunity for realizations, sheddings, deep healing, release work to the max. So if there is any type of work that you have been wanting to do to help break free of ties, attachments, karmic cords, um, you know, thought processes, certain mentalities, three of wands at the bottom of the deck. So oh, with the chariot card, I will leave this upright so that you could see, even though I will use this deck again. But the three of wands is really like looking towards the future, waiting for your ships to come in. However, that card always tells me you can't just sit around and wait, honey. You got to make the future that you want. You got to go after what it is that you want. You have to create the, the life that you want for yourself. Let me pull the energy oracle. Remember, guys, to give this a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And double tap that bell to get notified of all the new readings. I did do an end of October with a sneak peek of November. Uh, you will have additional messages there. Try and catch it here. As always, your playlist will be at the uh, posted at the very end. I will link it at the very end. I mean, sorry. <laughs> it's been a long day, guys. Um, and so, yeah, what else? Oh, the sign with the most likes and the sign with the most views will get a bonus live reading with me. So make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure your notifications are turned on. I will be doing a weekly live reading for all signs, but the bonus readings for a um for are for the signs with the most likes and the most views so make sure you get yours up okay so here we go your energy oracle for the month um okay hostilities and the thinking man right um this can be you aquarius libra gemini does not have to be gender specific so it doesn't necessarily have to be a man uh generally i associate this card with the king of sword energy which to me is the gemini king so you could have Gemini in your chart. You may be dealing with a Gemini. There could be some hostilities between you and a Gemini. I'm also getting the feeling of uh, a sense of being defensiveness and standing for what you believe in, standing for your truth. Um, I do get this feeling of, you know, with the thinking man, it's really getting down to the truth of the matter, seeing things concrete, black and white, and no gray in between, trying to be more logical and analytical and coming to a clearer conclusion. So anytime somebody tries to tell you you're wrong or you're looking at things um, from a different perspective, a different lens, and not the full big picture, right? The big picture here. Um, I get this feeling of either someone is challenging your thoughts, your beliefs, um, your practices, or, you know, even just your opinion, something that you may come across with. I mean, someone can be fighting over whether chocolate or vanilla is better than the other, right? could be something lame like that, or it could be something even deeper, like your own spiritual practices or beliefs or how you do things, how you, how you parent, how you, um, you know, move across when it comes to your relationship, your partnerships, your friendships, your career. Uh, either way, I do feel like there are a certain amount of hostilities and it, I do get this feeling of more than one person that you are either feeling hostile towards, they are being hostile towards you, or vice versa, right? So I do get this feeling now 
with the eclipse season, the blood moon, full moon, total eclipse, and we've got, you know, Jupiter going direct. It's just definitely not in your best interest to fight over every little thing. I mean, in general, you should always pick your battles wisely. Not everything is worth a big old giant war with the sword here, right? A big old battle, especially because you have the knight of swords here. He's like, I didn't like what you said and I'm gonna come after you type card, right? And that hostilities is really reinforcing that energy. So I do feel like there's almost like this debate between uh, you and someone else or you and some people. If you have court legal proceedings, mediation, if you have something where you have to be careful of um, a judgment being you know, against you, you have to be careful, especially when it comes to a group of people, uh, especially if it comes to finances, stability, perhaps your home. I, I do get this feeling of feeling as though people are ganging up on you or are, are against you. And so uh, with the Knight of Wands, the Hermit and the Six of Swords really tells me like, you just don't even want to deal with these person, with these people. And yeah, pick your battles wisely. So a part of you is like, I'm done standing up for myself in terms of constantly have to be in a battle or an argument or a disagreement of some sort. I'm constant. I'm, I'm tired of trying to get people to see my way, or maybe it's one particular person who just seems to be kind of flighty and flaky. Knight of Wands energy, um, Aries Leo Sagittarius, a bit immature as well. You're just, like I know better and you're not seeing things from my perspective so I'm just gonna walk away from this and pick my battles wisely however I do get this feeling of every so often this person likes to push your buttons okay I mean like click 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 like constantly right that's when that Knight of Swords energy comes in. Could be you, could be someone else around you. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I definitely feel like it is more you, your energy, where you're like, listen, you're disturbing my peace here. I'm in my energy. I'm in my zone. Get away from me with that energy, that mentality, your negativity, whatever it is that you feel almost surrounds you at some time. It feels like a heavy burden because my mind's eye is showing me the Ten of Wands energy. Um, so I do get the, the feeling of caring too much, you know, um, almost doing the job of too many. Now, again, going back to if you have something going on where there's a judgment, court proceeding, um, anything surrounding money, career, finances, I do feel that by the end of the month, as you move into Sagittarius season, again, remember what I said, pick your battles, do your release work, your, you know, what you need to release and let go of altogether especially as we close out the year you know we get this itch right where we're just like i don't know that this habit this thought process this mentality this person this friendship this connection has done me more good than bad in the last year and then we get this itch of wanting to let go release break free from break away from as we move into the next year because we start looking at that new year as kind of a hard reset right where we're going to do things right next year we're going to right our wrongs we're going to do things better next year and if you realize as you close out this year that maybe there's a relationship, a friendship, a partnership that just hasn't been for your highest good. Maybe even had you a little bit stuck in your head. Maybe even had you a little too stressed out. You're just like, I'm done. I think I just want to focus on myself and my stability and my comfort and create the life that I want for myself. Overall, right in the middle of the reading, you do have the sun card with the high priestess. I mean, your major arcanas, the hermit, the sun, the high priestess. You're very intuitive. You're very psychic at this time. I really feel that you are picking up on a lot of, you know, energy that's surrounding you, people's intentions and whether or not they 
have the best intentions for you, whether or not this is a good partnership or connection, right? So I do feel like at the end of the day here with the hermit, the sun, and the high priestess, you know that you will be at your happiest, at your most stable, at your most authentically you, happy and content when you love yourself, honor yourself, and you set those boundaries. So, you know, the sun overall, absolutely, like I said, I mean, the sun, the high priestess, with the king of pentacles this screams of happiness joy stability money coming in whatever it is that you want to manifest where you put your energy is where you know you will flourish where you will grow if this has to do with uh, career money manifestation uh, settling debts i do feel like some of you will have an opportunity to bring in extra money to uh, take on a second you know second stream of income uh, page of wands is really telling me there's another opportunity coming in for you seven of pentacles is telling me you're kind of having second thoughts about it like you know i already do so much work i don't know if i'm if i'm going to stretch myself too thin by taking on a side project a side hustle or an additional you know job to help someone out i'm telling you you have another money financial opportunity coming in yeah two sevens here right but you also have now see you have another major arcana here because the sun the high priestess and the star the star being your card aquarius you know the star really is about finding hope and peace and really getting to that that realization of i can do hard things i've been there done that but I can move forward. I, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. And I can see that big, bright, shining star that's guiding me. E that has been guiding me, even though I hadn't realized it. I do feel like some of you are learning how to trust yourselves more and more than usual. Page of Pentacles is really saying if this isn't a workplace, work relationship environment, you're just like, listen, I'm just here to do my work. Don't get in my way. Right. So this may cause hostilities or somebody may be a little moody up and down with their emotions. And you're just like, pump your brakes. You know, I'm just here to do a job. I'm just here to do what I need to do. Don't get in my way. You know, and if they push you, you push back. Knight of Swords energy is saying you will definitely push back because at the end of the day, you're not going to hold that in. You're going to speak your truth, whatever makes you happy, whatever makes you feel like you are being honest with yourself, truthful to yourself, respecting yourself. And I do feel with the High Priestess and the Star, and the star that you're definitely at that point of, you know, I'm going to trust my intuition. I, you know, I do get this feeling that you're going to have a lot of psychic visions, a lot of very like clarifying dreams, intuitive dreams, and premonistic dreams. So definitely keep a dream journal next to you. Try to write them down. Try to keep the energy going as you're waking up, you know, in and out of sleep to try to like remember and play back um, as you're waking up and then write things down. At the bottom row here, as we move into Sagittarius season, King of Pentacles, Page of Wands, two sevens here, the seven of Pentacles and the seven of Swords. Like I said, you're going to have offers for another job, another second stream of income, could be more than one stream of income. Uh, good news, great opportunities that are coming your way, especially surrounding money. And if you're offered, an, you know, um, like, you know, hey, it would be great if you joined our team, even if it was just part time. And you're just like, I already do enough. You kind of don't want to get into it. You're just kind of like, I'm spreading myself too thin. I don't know how to let them down easy. I don't think I'm ready for that. What's at the bottom? Yeah, eight of pentacles. So clearly surrounding work, money, energy, effort. What's underneath that? Four of Cups, yeah. So that's definitely saying, listen, I already do enough work as it is. I don't know if I could take on another side project or to put in extra hours without, um, you know, without proper compensation, right? It's I, I'm hearing someone go, that's a you project, not a me project. And as much as I'd love to help you, I've got to take care of me at this time. So now with the Blood Moon Total Lunar Eclipse, I believe it's November 8th. So 
So depending on when you catch this, uh, the message will still apply to you. But what is the blood moon? Especially if you have Taurus in your chart, check out that reading. What is the blood moon? How is it affecting Aquarius? And I have two cards coming up. Communication is key and a time for healing. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. I did say Gemini early on. So you may have Gemini in your chart. And if you do, because I'm hearing some of you may have like Gemini, um, Gemini Mars or Gemini rising. I do feel... Uh, communication is key. So be mindful of how you're communicating, how you're coming across. Maybe there isn't too much emotion, so it may come off a little, you know, dry or a little serious or maybe a little, maybe somebody takes it as hostile energy, right? At this point in time with the balsamic moon here, I do feel as though with the card that says a time for healing, it's if there is some unfinished healing that, that needs to take place, wrapping up those you know, those loose ends, cutting those cords, soul or karmic ties. It's, it's, you know, I'm feeling like this is the time for you to just finally, I'm hearing it like cauterizing, like send that healing energy to both ends of any cord that you may feel is attached to you. So never wish someone harm wish someone you know healing wish them good wish them blessings you don't know how that will backfire on you if you try to hurt someone or hex someone in any way right uh queen of the moon oracle you have the card of peace and will right the will to do something you know there's a reason why i said you know send them blessings send them healing send them peace and you know especially if there's someone that you're just like oh I'm so irritated by them I hope this and this happens to them and it's not in a in a positive light but a negative light you know your your will to do something like that you have to be mindful because a lot of that has karmic repercussions, okay? In order for you to find peace within yourself, if there is someone that you feel is invading your peace, you know, uh, blocking your peace, your peace of mind, your tranquility, then maybe that person needs healing. Maybe that person needs to go find a freaking hobby. Maybe that person needs to be turned away in the most nicest of ways. And no, I'm not saying like go over there and kiss their ass Tom, you love them and then like chew them away. But they're missing something besides you. They're missing something. For some of you, yes, they're missing you. They're trying to come back in that way. But there is something in their life that they're missing that is causing a negative behavior or tie or repercussion that keeps coming around to you. And so what is your will? You know, what is it that you want for yourself? Are you willing to do whatever it takes to heal, to level up, to move on to the next chapter? Or are you okay where things are, where things have been in your life? You know, we all have free will. So definitely we have the options and the opportunity to take the time that we need to figure those things out. So that is coming through very, very clear here. Let me pull from the money oracle for those of you. I'm telling you, I keep getting that you, you're going to have like an opportunity for collaboration or, you know, like another opportunity for maybe like a side gig, a side job, but you're just like, I don't know if I can add it on to my very heavy workload as it is. You have the card of the heart and cup, one more. Light bulb. So the heart is really saying emotional spending, joint finances, being supportive. This is a career as a counselor, as a guide, and having the job you love. You also have the card of cup, overflowing prosperity, 
full or empty account, careers as a nurturer, taking care of business, things being fulfilled, right? Full or empty cup really is how you see things, right? You also have the card of light bulb. Lucrative ideas are coming your way. There's new income source and inspiration. I'm telling you, this could lead to a career in entrepreneurship, a new job or creative work. So definitely picked up on that, you know, pretty heavily. And let's see what Amira's deck, what highlights here is that new love. Oh, true love. Pure love and honest connection. Oof. Money <laughs> and friendship. There you go. Let me put this to the side and then let me grab one more deck. Okay, so you have the card of true love. This is pure love, honest communication. If you're seeing someone, you know, it's about having pure, honest, truthful communication, making sure you're both on the same page, making sure that you want the same things as we grow, as we move ahead. What is on my card? Sorry, I get... <laughs> distracted too easily um so yeah you're either going to meet someone who's going to be your true love who um also communicates in the same ways as you so it could be another air sign aquarius libra gemini um or you could have you know same type of mars energy or communication styles and understanding your love languages to each other could be similar or, you know, can be cohesive, right? If you are already in a relationship, I do get the feeling that you're trying to reawaken or rejuvenate your love. You're spending more time being, you know, more one-to-one -one time and be more open and honest and truthful. Having, I'm hearing heartfelt communication, okay? Um, and really letting each other know how much you mean to each other, okay? I really get that feeling pretty strongly. Now, for some of you, this isn't for all of you. I have the card of the triangle here. This is, you know, crowded relationships. This is having too many choices or options. Now, does this mean someone is cheating or they're emotionally cheating or physically cheating or that there's a third party? Well, a third party doesn't have to be a physical connection. A third party can just be, you know, a nosy neighbor, a nosy in-law you know, friends, family, people that are trying to block this connection from happening or are interfering in aspects of your relationship that really do not concern them, nor do they have any right to get involved in your relationship. So you have to be careful when you open up about relationship problems and who you're opening up to about them. Because at one point or another, the people that you do open up to about that really number one should be your actual partner and no one outside of the relationship but those of you that you know turn around and speak to someone outside of the relationship about it um, they can tend to be that little birdie in your ear in order to maybe pull you away from a connection that you're still wanting to be in just every relationship has their ups and downs you know but I do feel like this could be someone who is interfering in someone else's relationship. It could also be overworking yourself, and that is the third party. We also have the card of money, wealth, luck, finances. I, I said it, guys. Your money is going to be looking good. You're going to be able, especially towards the end of the month, you're going to be able to... Um, whether you want to accept another opportunity for a promotion, a new job, a side job, right? Additional assignment, um, maybe entrepreneurship, something that you choose as your side hustle and it really starts to take off. I do get that feeling that business will pick up by the end of the month. And you have the card of friendship, friends, acquaintances, and networking. I do get the feeling of, you know, networking for your business, having your friends, your supporters, your people spread the word and getting, getting the word out there for your business, especially with the holidays coming through. I get the feeling that your friends, your inner circle are like not only your biggest supporters, but they're, they're going to get the word out and they're going to bring in additional 
support, money, finances, clients, customers. I'm loving this for you. Look at that. The queen. Love and prosperity. And these flipped over and the love card was there. So let's see if the love card flips back out. Now, male or female does not matter. But the queen says love and prosperity. This is the uh, Madame and Doris fortune cards. Harlequin. True feelings are mass. Someone's holding back their true feelings. Medusa. Jealousy leads to downfall. Remember what I said about the third party here. The triangular uh, situation, right? And we've got water emotion. So... The queen, love and prosperity. Those of you that are resonating with the main message of, you know, your love, your partnership, having really open, honest, heartfelt communication, really working on reconnecting or just deepening your connection in your current love situation um, and, you know, elevating your career, money, finances. Uh, it's looking good, whether you or your partner. But I do get this feeling of overall stability in all areas of your life, right? I just, I feel like you're really honing in on what or who makes you the happiest and you're not letting go of that. So I love that for you, right? Now, the Harlequin with true feelings are mass. Medusa, jealousy leads to downfall, you know, and, and the triangle card, right? So you could have a third party, doesn't mean cheating, but you could have someone who's not really telling you the truth about how they feel, about a connection, a friendship, a partnership. Um, and they're just kind of like, yeah, okay. Um, but they're taking note. And I feel like they almost want to sabotage a relationship or connection. So be careful of that. They're not being truthful or honest. I feel like there is some jealousy that is being hidden at this time. And with the eclipse energy, especially because we are in Scorpio season, we have the water energy coming up here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you could be dealing with someone with that sign. You could have that in your chart, but emotions are at their peak. Eclipse energy definitely tends to, you know, have those emotional highs and lows. I've been telling everyone, make sure you pick your battles wisely. Not everything is worth an argument, a disagreement, a fight, or a battle. I do feel like pulling one more to close this out. Uh-huh. Hindrance. Fate has blocked this path for you. So those of you that do have options between more than one partner and you're feeling like the one that you really, really want, it just doesn't seem to really work out. And so you keep going back to a different option, another option, and you're still thinking about, I just feel like you're going, you know, from point A, B, C, like going back and forth. Others of you that thought you were on a specific path and for whatever reason feels like it it never amounted to anything. It just feels as though, you know, the universe has blocked this path for you for a reason, right? Rejection is God's protection, but also a redirection. So keep that in mind. Things are always working out for you and for your highest good. That is your reading, Aquarius. Uh, let me know down below how this resonates for you. Make sure you guys give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Double tap that bell to get notified of all the new readings. And I cannot wait to see what is next for you. Remember the song with the most likes and the sign with the most views we'll get a bonus live reading so you don't want to miss that have a great november i will see you guys in the bonus reads or in the live readings make sure your notifications are turned on take care bye